Hey everybody, it's Joe from PocketNow.com. Back when I was a Windows Mobile guy, the part I liked most about that OS was the Today screen. Specifically, the Agenda View, where I could see all of my upcoming appointments and to-do items right there on the home screen whenever I turned on the phone. I could tell at a glance exactly where I was supposed to be and what I needed to prepare for next. It was great. When I moved over to Android, I really didn't have that because the stock widgets from Google just kind of breezed past that. And even today, they don't do a really great job. So what I've done is I've gone out and I found a couple suggestions for widgets for you that I think you might like. I'll show you what I use and I'll show you some other options. So let's go do that now. Okay, so the first thing that we have this is a Nexus One with the stock Android 2.1 operating system on it. It doesn't have HTC Sense UI and it doesn't have Moto Blur. So you're just going to see the raw stuff that comes from Google. And the first thing to show you is the calendar icon. The calendar icon simply launches the calendar app. That's it. In previous versions, there was a number 25 on the calendar icon, which was kind of confusing if it wasn't the 25th day of the month, which today is not. It looks kind of nice, doesn't have much functionality other than just launching the app. So, to help give you a little bit more information at a glance, Google decided they would also release a widget, and they called that widget simply Calendar. So we'll put that on the home screen. First thing to note about this, it does show the day of the week, it also shows the day of the month, shows your next upcoming appointment, what time it is, what day it is, what the title is, and where it's located. But it's not all that configurable. You can't do to-do tasks, you can't change the color of this bar, you can't make it transparent or translucent. It just is stock. It does what it's supposed to do and that's all it does. Which is just fine, but let's look at something a little bit nicer than that. What I'd like to show you first is a free widget right down here called Smooth Calendar. Go to the market, search for Smooth Calendar, download it, install it, and there you go. The first thing you'll note is this is a 1x4 widget. It's one tile high by four tiles wide. You also have this nice little flip calendar that shows the month and the calendar day. It doesn't show the day of the week like the last one did, but you'll notice on here I've got my next three upcoming appointments shown right there really nice at a glance, easy to see. If I tap on it, it asks me what I want to do, configure it, launch my calendar, or refresh the app. So one touch access, you know, real nice and easy to get into it. Uh, if I move it down here over the grass, you'll see that it's also semi-transparent, shows all the animation of your uh, live wallpaper really nicely. And hey, the price is right. It's free, it looks really nice, it does what it's supposed to do, not all that configurable, but clean, pure, and shows a lot more information at a glance. If you want configurability, however, you're going to want to get these guys right down here, which are the pure calendar widgets. And you'll notice you get a whole bunch. Now, these aren't free, but they're pretty darn cheap, and they're worth every penny. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the price because prices on the marketplace change all the time, but we're talking just a couple bucks at, at most. So you come in and look at this and you can pick what size do you want, a 2x2, two 2x3, two, two all the way down, 4x1, four 4x2, four 4x3, four or a full page 4x4. Four four. They even have a calendar grid widget, which is it's a separate purchase, but it shows your entire calendar in a 4x4 four four widget in a grid on your screen, so it's really nice. Uh, what I'd like to show you here, since I showed you the 4x1 widget before, let's see what they have with their 4x1. First thing that you'll notice is this gets into an awful lot of configuration, but you can tie it to your regular Google Calendar, HTC Sense Calendar, Droid Exchange Calendar, yada, 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 yada. I mean, there's tons of stuff, and this developer is always adding more. We're going to stick with the stock regular Google Calendar, and... I'm not going to show you all this because, honestly, I don't have time. What I'm going to focus on instead, however, is right down here, which is the Continue and Skin. So we're going to tap that. 
from here, it's going to go out, grab some data from the internet. This will take a, a little bit of time, depending on your connection. But basically, this is a skinnable widget, and he's continually updating the skins for this widget. New stuff's coming all the time. Really, you're going to stick with a couple. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I'm going to tap on that to select it. And then we're going to tap on it again. A little bit confusing here. Hit transparency and then we can set the transparency of this via a slider to wherever we want. From all the way transparent to opaque. I like it somewhere in the 25 range and I'm having a real hard time doing this on camera for you. We'll save and exit. And there you go. You've got a nice, very transparent, glass looking calendar widget really cool. Now the thing that I like th about this, you can tie in your Google Tasks or G Tasks with it and display those as well, but in the same amount of space you've got not only your upcoming appointment, but you've also got the day of the week, the month, the calendar day, you've got a configuration button, and then a quick add, which is just really nice. Uh, let me come over and show you on my home screen where I've got a 4x2 widget. This shows me the current day, my day's appointments, appointments on Monday, on Tuesday. So in just a little teeny bit more space, I've got six appointments showing on my screen and it's really, really worthwhile. Uh, this is a, not only appointments but to-do tasks as well. Now, I know I'm going to get asked this, so I'm just going to answer it right away. This widget on the top I feel is indispensable. It was the very first widget, in fact the very first app that I spent money on when I got my Android. This is called Beautiful Widgets by Level Up Studios and it is just that. It's gorgeous. Um, skinnable as well. In this case I've got what's called a naked skin so it doesn't have any background on it. It's just entirely transparent. Nice big clock. You can choose from flip clocks to cyanogen clocks to uh, vacuum tube style clocks. Just really cool stuff. Shows me again the day of the week, the month, the calendar day. Shows me where I am and what the weather is like. And yes, we have just gone through a whole bunch of thunderstorms. Current temperature is 52 degrees, with a high of 62, low of 44. And that's at a glance what my weather is going to be like. Tap on that and it brings up an animated screen showing my four-day forecast along with a bit more information, wind, relative humidity, and whatnot. Beautiful app. It does exactly what it's supposed to do, and it does it gorgeously. Um, I would highly recommend anybody that wants to get weather information on their phone, go ahead and get this. It is entirely wonderful. So those are the apps that I find, or those are the widgets, rather, that I find most helpful, and I would highly recommend going out and spending the money on these. If you don't want to spend any money, go ahead and try Smooth Calendar Widget out. It's free. It shows you quite a bit of information. Uh, really nice. But this is the kind of functionality that was missing from Android that I really have gotten used to with Windows Mobile. And with just a couple widgets, I've restored all of that functionality and added quite a bit of uh, aesthetics. It looks really nice, too. Uh, I think you'd agree. I mean, this home screen really looks good. So... I'd be interested to see what you've got on your home screen, what widgets you like, what widgets you don't like. If you think the configuration for smooth, or excuse me, pure calendar widget is just way too complicated like I do, because you've got all that stuff that I didn't even show you. So please, leave a comment, let me know, and uh, let's see who's got the best home screen out there. For PocketNow.com, I'm Joe Levi with Today Widgets.